In today's video, I am going to talk about top 15 Linux commands. Number 1. PWD command. Well, with the help of PWD command, we can find out the path of the current working directory we are in. This command returns us an absolute path, which is basically a path of all the directories that starts with the forward slash. So if I write here PWD, it returns me the path as it says I am into my home directory. Now if I move towards any of my directory, let's say I move to my downloads directory and now if I write here PWD, here you can see it has returned me the address of my directory I am currently in. So this is how you can use PWD command. Number 2. CD command. Well CD command helps you to get through the Linux files and directories. Basically, with the help of CD command, you can move to any directories into your Linux operating system. For example, at the moment I am into my home directory and I want to go to my desktop. So I will just write here CD desktop and now if I hit enter, here you can see I am into my desktop directory. And here I have a folder with the name of ABC, I can move to that as well. For that, I just need to write here CD ABC. And now if I hit enter, at the moment I am into my ABC folder. What if you want to go back to your home directory? For that purpose, just write here CD and hit enter and it will take you back to your home directory. Now I'll show you that how you can move to multiple directories in a single command. Let's say I want to go to my ABC directory. Earlier I had to go to my desktop directory and then I was able to reach my ABC directory. But now I'll show you that how you can access it directly. For that purpose, just write here CD desktop and then just write here backslash ABC, hit enter. And here you can see we are into our ABC directory directly. So this is how you can use your CD command. Number three, LS command. Well, the LS command is used to view the content of our directory. This command displays the content of your current working directory if you just write here ls and hit enter. Here you can see as I am into my home directory, so these are different directories that are available to me. Now let's say you want to see the content of your desktop. So I will just write here ls desktop hit enter and here we have abc directory available in here. Let's say I create a new folder in here and I name it as xyz hit enter. And now if I ls here onto my desktop, so I will just write here ls desktop, hit enter and here you can see now we have two of the directories, earlier we had only one. We have a lot of other flags that are available with our ls commands but we have a detailed video on that as well. Number 4 cat command, cat stands for concatenate, it is one of the most frequently used commands in Linux, it is used to list the content of a file on your standard output and you can also use this command to create different files. First of all, I'll show you that how you can list out or how you can print out the content of particular file. For example, I have a file onto my desktop. So first of all, I'll move to my desktop and now I will write here cat file.txt and now if I hit enter here it says hello Linux. If I open this file. Here we have the same content. So this is how you can print out the content of a particular file with the help of cat command. Now I'll show you that how you can create different files with the help of your cat command. For that purpose just write here cat space and add this sign then just write the name of the file that you want to create. I want to create a file with the name of file2 with the extension .txt hit enter. And here you can see we have successfully created a new file with the help of our file.txt and now just write anything in here i will write here hi this is my 15 linux commands video hit enter and just get out of this and now if i open my file2.txt and here you can see it says hi this is my 15 linux commands video so this is how you can create different files and even you can add different contents into your file with the help of cat command. And now I'll show you that how you can join two files and store their outputs into a new file. 
For that purpose, I will write here cat space file dot txt space file two dot txt. It means now the content from file dot txt and file two dot txt will be joined into a third file with the name of file three dot txt. And now if I hit enter, here I have file three dot txt. And now if I open this file from here, or let's use a command for that, I will write here file three dot txt hit enter here you can see now i have the content of both these files into third one so this is how you can use your cat command into your linux number five cp command well cp command gets used to copy the files from your current directory to a different directory for example if i ls here and here i have some of the files like file one file two file script test etc I will copy my file one.txt to a particular directory. For that, I will write here cp name of the file, which is file one.txt. After that space, now I will write the path where I want to copy this particular file. After that, I will write here home Zubair. And now I want to move this particular file into my pictures folder. So I will just write here pictures, hit enter. And now if I move to my pictures folder, hit enter. If I ls here, here you can see we have file1.txt. So this is how we use rcp command. Number six, move command. Well, the primary use of the move command is to move files, although it can also be used to rename different files. For example, if I go back to my home directory and now if I ls here, here I have particular files. Now. I will move my file.txt. So I will write here mv which stands for move after that name of the file that I want to move and then the path where I want to move this particular file. So I will move this one into my pictures folder. So I will just write here pictures hit enter and now if I go to my pictures folder or directory if I ls here here I have file.txt. Well, you might be wondering that what is the difference between move command and copy command. Well, now if I ls here onto my home directory, here you can see I do not have file.txt. It is just like cutting and pasting files from one directory to different directory with the help of move command. But with the help of copy command, we only make a copy. Number seven, make directory or mkdir. Well, mkdir command is used to make new directory for example at the moment i have these directories which are in blue and i want to make some new directories into these particular directories so first of all i'll go to my desktop hit enter and now if i ls here here i have a folder with the name of abc let's say i want to have a folder and i want to name it as youtube so I will just write here mkdir space YouTube. Hit enter. Here you can see on your desktop that we have successfully created a directory. Well, in case if you want to create a directory inside a directory, for that purpose we have a way as well. I will just write here mkdir after that name of the folder in which you want to create a new folder. I will just write here YouTube backslash and now write the name of your new directory. So I will just write here videos hit enter. And now if I ls here, here I have my YouTube. I will move to my YouTube folder. If I ls here now, here you can see we have a directory inside our YouTube directory. We can confirm it from here as well. Here you can see into our YouTube folder, we have a video folder. Number eight, RMDIR or remove directory. Well, if you need to delete a particular directory, we have to use RMDIR command. This command will delete the directory for you, but it only delete those directories which are empty. For example, if I open my ABC directory, here, this is the empty one, and we can delete this one easily with this command. So first of all, we need to move to our desktop. Now I will write here rmdir space abc hit enter 
and we have successfully deleted our ABC directory. But we cannot delete such directories that are not empty such that YouTube. If I write here RMDIR space YouTube hit enter, it says fail to remove YouTube directory not empty because we have a folder inside this one. Number 9 RM command. Well, rm command is used to delete directories and the content within them. As we have seen that with the help of rmdir, we were only able to delete empty directories. But with rm command, we are able to delete everything that is available in any directory. So I will just write here rm space dash r, which is for remove and it is a flag. After that, write the name of a directory. And now if I hit enter, here you can see we have successfully deleted our YouTube folder. So this is how we use rm and rmdir commands. Number 10. Touch command. Well, the touch command allows you to create a blank file through your Linux command. So I will just show you that how you can create a file from your terminal. So first of all, I'll move towards my desktop directory. And now if I write here, touch zubair.txt, hit enter. Here you can see we have successfully created a new file with the help of our touch command onto our desktop. In case if you want to create a file at a particular directory without moving to that particular directory, you have to follow me here. So I will just write here touch space home. After that the user which is Zubair and then the directory in which you want to create that particular file. I will create this one into my documents. And the name of the file will be file.html, hit enter. And now if I go to my documents folder and here we have a file with the name of HTML. So this is how we can use touch command. Number 11, locate command. Well, we can use this command to locate a file. Just like the search command in Windows or search area in our Windows operating system, with the help of our locate command, we can find anything into our Linux directories. For example, if I write here, locate file.txt, hit enter. Here you can see it is showing me every file that is there with the name of file.txt into my Linux operating system as I am in my home directory. And these are different files that are available. This one is available into my home directory. Then this one is available into my local share trash files and then we have file.txt. So we have all these files with the name of file.txt that we can find into our system. Now let's say you forgot the exact name of your file. For that purpose, you can write here locate static.txt because I remember the extension but not the name. So I will just hit enter. So it is showing me all those files that are there with the extension of txt. Now let's say you forgot the extension. For that, we will write here locate file dot static. Now it is showing us nothing because we do not have any such thing. Now let's say you forget a part of the file name. So I will just write here fil static dot txt. Hit enter. So it is showing me all those files that have fil in their name as you can see in here. So this is how we can use our locate command. Number 12, ping command. Well, the ping command gets used to check the connectivity to a particular server. For example, if I write here ping space google.com, hit enter. Here it is giving us the response. It means yes, we have a connection that is successful with the Google server. Number 13, top command. Well, if I write here top, hit enter it opens this utility. Well, from here, we can have all the information about the system, the resources that it is using at the moment, and all those processes that are running at a particular time. And here we have a detailed information about the usage of resources from each process at the moment. Number 14, echo command. With the help of this command, we can add the content into a particular file. Let's say, I want to add some of the content into my zubair.txt. So first of all, for that, I have to move to my desktop. And now I will write here echo my name 
is Zubair. After that, use these signs and now write the name of the file. I will write here Zubair.txt, hit enter. And now, if I open my Zubair.txt, here it says my name is Zubair. So this is how you can add a particular content into your particular file with the help of one simple command. Number 15, sudo command. Well, sudo stands for super user do. This command enables you to perform such tasks that require administrative or root permission. However, I would not recommend you because it is not advisable to use this command for daily use because it might be easy for an error to occur if you did something wrong. For example, if I want to move towards any directory, I can do so with the help of simple commands. But in case I want to install something or anything that requires administrative privileges, for that purpose, I have to use sudo. Let's install VLC media player. So I will just write here apt install VLC hit enter. Here it says could not open log file. And now if I write here sudo apt install vlc hit enter and now it is asking for the password now we are working as an administrator and now you can see we are successfully downloading and installing vlc media player so this is a difference between sudo command and the simple commands and with that we are done with this video we'll see you in the next one